Hi, Liam here from Presentation Expressions, and in this video, I wanted to talk to you about how to practice for your next presentation. So, how do you practice? Well, a lot of people, unfortunately, just practice in an empty room like this. They practice their presentation until they feel, yeah, it's pretty good. But the problem with that is, you can't really see what your audience are going to see. So that brings us to today's tip in this video. When you next practice for your presentation, use a video camera. Video your practice. Now I don't want to hear this excuse. Liam, I don't have a video camera. Come on, it's 2012. There are so many ways we can video ourselves doing things now. We can use, of course, the traditional camcorder. We can use a webcam. We can use smartphones. We can use cell phones. We can use digital cameras, we can use tablet computers. There are so many ways that we can video ourselves now, so there really is no excuse. If you really don't have anything like this, borrow it. So, you've got your video camera of choice. Now I want you to remember three R's. Record, review, and revise. Record, review, revise. Let's look at those one at a time. Well, record, of course, is you video recording your practice of your presentation. Now, do make sure that you have sound on that video camera you're using. That's very important. Number two, review. Have something that you can write down on a piece of paper or whatever. Because when you watch that video playback, you want to write things down that you want to change. Okay, so make sure you have that piece of paper there. So what are you actually looking out for when you're watching the video? Well, are you looking at your body language? Have you got a bit of an attitude? Are you turning your back to the audience? Whatever it is. Make sure that you've got good, open body language. Make sure you're giving the right message across it through your body. Also look at your eyes, the eye contact. Now I know you're only looking at a camera, but pretend you've got an audience. You know, pretend you're doing your presentation like this and you're talking to an audience. Make sure your eyes are moving. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is the speech itself. Are you talking too quickly for people to understand you? Are you talking too slowly to make it very boring? Are you speaking clearly so people can understand you? Are you doing lots of um, ahs, i.e. fillers? So make sure that your speech is correct also. Another thing to look out for, or listen for rather, is are you sticking to the subject of your presentation or are you talking about something completely different? So, remember those three R's? It was record and it was review and the last one was revise. So after you've watched the video playback, you've made your notes, then you need to repeat the process again. You need to video yourself practicing again. Now another question that actually we get asked a lot is, how long should I practice for? Well, it's a big question, and it's a question I actually can't answer for you as an individual, because I'm not there, I'm not with you. So the best thing that I can say to you is, you've got to keep repeating it until you can honestly watch that video of you presenting, and you can say, wow, I look great. That is a great presentation. If you can honestly say that to yourself, then you're ready. So that's why, really, what this video is all about is practice. Make sure you give yourself enough time to practice. People really underestimate this part of their preparation for a presentation. Practice, practice, practice. Carl and I really can't say this enough to you. So that's it for this video. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please like it on Facebook, tweet about it on Twitter, share it on other social media to help other people improve their presentations. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.